Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another Wednesday, what I'm liking and not so much segment. If you guys would like to hear what my likes and maybe not likes are, then keep on watching. As always, I feel like I don't have very many products, but I don't, you know, so we're going to get into hair products and these are hair products that were sent to me and it is the company OGX. As I've mentioned before, OGX has sent me products for PR here and there. And so I'm like, there, there was several different moments where they sent me a bunch of different stuff. So I'm slowly going through different things. Um, some things I can't use because it doesn't pertain to my hair condition the way it is and everything. So I kind of just gave them to my daughter or somebody like that because you know, it wasn't going to be, I already knew it was something that wasn't really going to work out for me. So first thing, which looks like I used up a good bit in here, but sadly when this box came with some of these goodies, uh, this was leaking. Well, the, this thing was loose is what it was. So, um, so yeah, but, uh, this is the weightless hydration coconut water. It's a hydration oil. I had used it a couple times already and I used it the other day and it is a very nice, well, if you love coconut smell, you're totally going to be into this. It has that wonderful coconut smell that OGX is known for with some of their products that are, uh, I use the coconut curl shampoo and conditioner, which that has to be one of my favorite uh, shampoo and conditioners from OGX is the curl, coconut curl one. I, I would have to say that's one of my favorites from them so far. So this one is really nice spray. It's a fine oil mist spray. Obviously you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to make your hair too oily or greasy, but I liked it. It was quite nice. You know, it, uh, it did seem to add some shine to my hair. A lot of their hair mist oils do, which that's one thing that I really like. So yeah, if you guys like uh, coconut scent and this is a coconut water and your hair feels like it needs some hydration like it looks like it's lacking some hydration or looks dry looking or knotted or anything like that uh, dull looking then I would say give this one a try. Another item from OGX is Hydrate and Repair Argan Oil of Morocco. It's a creamy hair butter. Now this is leave in or rinse out uh, product. It comes in a rounded looking thing like this and um yeah it smells oh. oops <laughs> did i just get some on my nose seriously seriously i don't know it felt like it <laughs> let's dunk our nose um it smells great it really does it smells great and what i did was i used it in the shower and then rinsed it out um if I left it in, I would feel like, now not that I used a lot in the shower, but I think I would, if you were going to leave it in, I would think you'd need very, very little. And then kind of like rub your hands together and kind of incorporate, incorporate all through in your hair and everything. But I did it in the shower and then like rinsed out like with my hair. And I left it in like you'd, I do a conditioner. A lot of times I left it in for a little bit and did my other stuff and everything and then came back and then rinsed it out. And it was quite nice. I knew some, there was somebody I seen that said that it left their hair kind of greasy afterwards. Now, I don't know. Um, maybe they put too much in or maybe, yeah, if you are somebody that does have oily, uh, an oily scalp or hair or something, this, uh, one of these hair butter, hair butters, these creamy hair butters might not be for you because it might, you know, make, make you have more greasy, uh, greasy looking hair. Uh, but you just need very little. You don't want to overdo it. Uh, a perfume that I really, really like, and I did buy this. I treated myself, uh, a while back ago. It's Versace's Bright Crystal. I've had it before, but oh, I just, that packaging is just beautiful. Like the lid and everything and has his um, well-known Versace sign on there on the top. It's just gorgeous. I love the smell. This totally, I mean like I wear it anytime, but really great. Which, mm, just so great right now. 
It is a very florally fresh scent. I love Versace crystal. crystal. <laughs> I like this thing, this product here. Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> I think it's kind of funny that I'm showing this, but I'm, I'm liking it. And I've seen a couple other YouTubers show before, um, you know, like our makeup brushes and everything, like they get some powder on it. Like you're in between doing your eyeshadow looks and everything. And there's those little wheels, you know, them little tin wheels that has this kind of stuff in there, like this foam stuff, okay? You get boxes all the time that have this foam stuff in it, you know, like this like styrofoamy kind of stuff. And that's what I do. Just take my brush and just get the excess off. I mean, I still would wash my brushes, not that I wouldn't, but like in between times or you're just busy, you know, like whatever and you know you're doing an eyeshadow look and you want to wipe the excess off that's what i use this for so i, I just kind of wanted to give this a little mention it's kind of well, obviously dirty has some stuff on there uh make, speaking of brushes two makeup brushes which this one's a little dirty i should clean it off this is the real techniques shading brush the purple one it's the shading brush i i love this getting like right in there in the crease like just to do the outer uh, edges and in the corner there um, it, it is it gets right in there it's real precise I really like that and it's an affordable um, eye brush and I really do like real techniques I think they are worth you know getting getting brushes if you are on a budget and you can't afford them them or elf uh, elf is hit and miss so far the real techniques brushes I've tried mostly all of them I really like. Speaking of elf, I have the little smaller stippling brush, this little stippling brush here, which is dirty. Um, I do use, um, I have two of these. I use one for blush sometimes. I do use one for blush. I have a smaller, tinier one that I use for highlight sometimes too. This one I use though um, for like when I put my uh, blush and contouring and do all that, I kind of use this to kind of blend. I learned it from Cole Guerrero. She always talks about like kind of using a stippling brush and kind of um, softening out the lines and harsh lines or anything there and just kind of putting it all together to bend. Yes. Not uh, I me. Mean, yes. <laughs> okay, so some makeup. I did a video not long ago where we didn't use any uh, makeup brushes and I got to pull these out a couple of different times and have been using them here and there and the one is the blush from Colourpop and it is Jellyfish. Like I said now, I don't know if it exists anymore. It is a very pretty corally color like for right now, totally gorgeous for right now. There it is. So pretty these are very pigmented so yes you would have to be very careful but there it is there very pretty color the other one is the highlight I really love this highlight this is the one in uh, monster it is duochrome uh, and it has like a purple tinge to it like a lilac -y purple tinge to it I don't know how well you'll see it, but maybe you'll see it in a swatch. Or not. <laughs> maybe you will, maybe you won't. But yeah, it's a duochrome and it, it looks like a lilac y color. So I'll go ahead and do talk about a couple of lip products here that I have. This one here, I gosh, I can't even think which video. I'm not even sure which video I did apply this on it's the Sephora uh, lip stain, the cream lip stains. This one's in that lilac shade. These are really nice, and this is a really pretty shade. Um, I'll put a link down below, uh, and then you can go ahead and check it out. And then, now that is very creamy and very smooth and everything. Now, this is one of Mally's, this is one of her ultimate, ultimate performance uh, lip shellac, I think is how she pronounces it. This one's in Cherry Blossom. It's like a lip gloss and everything. And I really like the doe foot applicator. And it has a long, flat. Um, now, but this is one of the sticky kind of lip gloss. If you don't like sticky, you won't like this then. Because it does give um, the sticky feel to it. But that's the shade right there. It's Cherry Blossom. and So it is very pigmented. Very pigmented. I have two uh, not so much as here 
and these are going to be palettes that I do have one that I like and then a couple maybe I don't like so much not sure when the video I think the video will be coming up soon here but I did I did do a look with this palette here and it's a Tarte palette and it is a Christmas one so you really can't get this one anymore but I never really pulled it out enough now I've only used this this is probably my third or fourth time I have used it now some shades in here and they're beautiful colors in here I mean really pretty colors uh, this one here is like a orchid color, which I do use in a look, and it is very pretty. It's a very pretty orchidy shade. This one's a gold shade. Here's a gold shade. But they're very disappointing when I kept working with them that they weren't working as good as what I thought. Like on my fingers, you're seeing they look great and everything. There's some a couple on the, but they're not. I had a heck of a time getting a good look like the dark one might be like this dark purple or something like that might show up pretty good I think but there's a few shades here that are pretty and they're nice and I'll still play around with it here and there but it's just I'll have to figure out how to work it in with some looks that I do I don't know I'm just, I'm not really liking it so much. I was pretty, because I, I thought that's probably why I didn't pull it out hardly ever, because I wasn't, like I said, Tarte for me could be hit and miss with their uh, eyeshadow palettes and things. And then this one here, my in-laws had sent me from overseas, and it is their La Palette Nude from L'Oreal there and theirs is much smaller than ours as you can tell there and plus they have a case it doesn't have the window like ours does so theirs is much more smaller now I'm gonna be honest um I'm not really big on the look palettes from L'Oreal I'm just not my favorite eyeshadows from L'Oreal probably is the infallible ones I like those ones and I wanted to really like this one here because you know it did have some really pretty shades in here like this here I, I really liked the look of that one it's like a, a beautiful peach as you can see right there it is you know and the swatches are nice um, just not having the greatest of luck with working with these uh, there's a matte shade there that I have right there I mean they're not terrible terrible but I'm just not like with products and what I have learned they can swatch wonderful and apply on your eyes crappy and like I'm not really getting great looks with this no matter how many couple times I've tried I really like this shade here this shade here I've also learned that some products might not swatch so great on your hands and arms like swatch so great but they might work great on your eyes that is true so you never know you might swatch something and think it is crap and it could be really good it's just a not a like um you know i hate saying that because i really like l'oreal l'oreal is like one of my favorites but just yeah it's not working out now this palette um i will have a review up and that so i guess you probably already know i I like it but you can go ahead and see the swatches and I'm not going to swatch it or do anything of any sort but open up the door and FedEx came and to my surprise I was sent this from Pure Cosmetics the Love Your Selfie 2 palette which well, Pure Cosmetics has sent me stuff before and it has a little of everything in here you have like eight eyeshadows you have bronzer blush and highlight you have a lip gloss, a lip, like a velvet lip pencil, and this is the mascara that I always, I, I love from them. It's the fully charged mascara in there. I'm not going to get into full on details, but I am liking that. this. That is kind of what I have on my eyes today is some of the colors from this palette. So, yeah, we're live. We're live, folks. I did create a couple looks, um, and yeah, because my the when I do a review on this palette, I did a look with it too. So, really digging these two colors. I have to say that right there, those two, those are the two that caught my eye. My eyes just went right to them. 
yeah, stay tuned for the review for that palette also. All right, beauties. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much, and I'd really appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, and you can join me each week uh, with my what I'm liking and not so much every Wednesday, and then just a little uh, here and there other videos that will pop up too. So and as always, remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the be shine through. Until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Bye. Love you guys. Bye-bye.